Seems surreal that this day is finally here. I remember going home to meet your family for the first time and just immediately feeling at home. I remember seeing all the precious pictures and videos from your childhood and understanding so much more about you. I remember realizing with utmost clarity that you are the woman that I want to marry. Yeah. Hi, babe. We've grown so much since that day that I knew that you were the one. We've changed jobs a few times. We have moved in together and adopted a dog. And of course you said yes a few times. <laughs> Lots of adventures are behind us, but I know that we have a lifetime of big adventures and new experiences ahead of us and I'm so, so excited for them. I'm not gonna say the moment that I met Caitlin, that I knew she was the one, but I knew the moment I met her, I wanted her to be the one. Christmas Day, Brett had gone to Delaware to meet Caitlin's parents for the very first time. I get this text from Brett and I look down and the text said, well, the search is over. And I go, yeah, with a question mark. And he goes, yes, period. I have found the one. And the one was all in caps with a big red heart. I love my son so much. And for him to know that he has found the one means the world to me. Where are you at? Well, hello, beautiful. Hello. Hi, beautiful, you say. Beautiful. One day, Caitlin and I were in the store, right around the time when her and Brett had just gone on a few dates, but were not officially dating. She was telling me about him and said, whoever marries Brett Harris will be the luckiest girl in the world. Fast forward, and Caitlin, you can finally consider yourself the luckiest girl in the world. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. You look very beautiful. You're crying already. <laughs> I know. I am the luckiest girl in the world. But being with a man as wonderful and patient as you is not luck, but I believe it's part of God's plan. I am proud to call you my almost husband. Thank you for putting up with me. <laughs> Genuine thank you there. Mm. Knowing that I have a man like you by my side for the rest of my life brings me so much happiness. I'm so excited for our journey together and where God's plan leads us next. <laughs> I promise to always love you, always support you, and push us to lead a Christ-like life. Love your bride. God brings you together with purpose, with hope, knowing what's gonna happen in your future. When you get that opportunity, you go, wow, God brought us together. So be thankful to God on that. You guys were guided together, regardless if you believed it or not. The people in this room and the people tomorrow are here because they love you. It's not because of anything else. They love who you are, they've known you, and they've got to know you, and so they love you for that. The goddess of love they knew that this was a match. And she said, I am going to let my arrow fly straight into the hearts of Kate and Brett. And folks, we are having a wedding tomorrow. <laughs> Marriage is not just a title. Being a wife, being a husband is not just something you're going to inherit. There were times where this commitment that you have made to each other will be all that you have. When this partnership, this deep love that goes beyond romance and Hollywood fantasies is what will you will hold on to. God's love calls us to see God moving even in the midst of chaos. It doesn't matter what comes in life. We'll always have God and we'll always have each other. 
And with those things, we can get through anything. Brett, Caitlin, for the first time as a married couple, you may kiss. proud of you, Caitlin. We love Brett as a son, a son we never had, and with this marriage, we welcome you into our family and look forward to the time we can spend together. We cannot wait to see what the future holds. Brett isn't just smart, but also adventurous. When Brett sees an opportunity to take the jump into the unknown, he does it. The days are long, but the years are short. I could not be happier that Brett was smart enough to spend the rest of those days with you. I love you. Welcome to the family. I remember talking to her on the phone at the beginning of the relationship, and she says, you know, I really love him. I think he might be the one. I responded with, yeah, okay, Caitlin. I think you should just take it slow. <laughs> Fast forward, and Brett came home to Delaware for Christmas. On Christmas morning, Caitlin was in the middle of some conversation with, I think, a grandparent, and I looked over and Brett was just staring at her, and anyone could see that he was looking at her like she was the only girl in the world. 